Hey everybody, Andrew here, and welcome to the very first episode of Shelf Space. And this new series is inspired by my previous video called The Dark Side of Collecting. In that video, I talked about my collection uh, basically growing to the point where I feel like it's gotten out of control. And with your comments, which I truly appreciate, and I, I read every single one of them, you've inspired me to continue. And I've named it and dedicated a new series on it, which will be during the weekends. I'm not sure if it's every weekend or every other weekend, but it'll be on the weekends called Shelf Space. And what it's going to be focusing on is basically managing your collection. And it'll be a journey together, you and I. It'll be a learning process, and it will be an open discussion, although it's not an interactive one, but you can definitely comment uh, about these videos and um, it'll be a journey on how to basically keep our collections under control and maintaining that good feeling and enjoyment in the hobby because a lot of times people get frustrated and they, they, they don't have any fun anymore and they just bail. They just sell off their stuff and they're done and that's kind of tragic because you, know, you invest all that time and money and effort only to just sell it all off because you're frustrated. So don't let that happen. I, 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 that's kind of sad to me. But, you know, hopefully these videos will help. And so a couple of things that I want to talk about are being a completionist and intent. Okay? I have a problem with that term, being a completionist, because a lot of toy lines never seem to end. For example... Star Wars, it's such a huge toy line. It never ends. It's ever expanding. There is no end. So how can you be a completionist if there's no end? You're going to have re-releases, repaints, variants, store exclusives, online exclusives, uh, special editions. So it just, it just goes on and on. So how can you be a completionist? So you have to be in control as to what you believe to be complete for yourself unless you have a huge mansion with a whole bunch of rooms you know you're just not going to have the space for it uh and a lot of us don't collect just one line like myself i collect masters of the universe uh transformers both masterpiece and g1 and a few others here and there like the animated and chug uh there's also you know marvel legends and star trek and star wars so i i i, I dabble you know, on, on, on several things. So that's another thing is you have to decide, do I really want to get into this toy line? Is this something that I want to invest my time into? And if so, how deep am I going to go? How far am I going to go? And that's something that we have to be conscious of because it's so easy to just let ourselves get swept away before we know it. we got plastic that we don't know what to do with. So be conscious. And one of the nicest comments that I've seen, all of them are good, don't get me wrong, but some people did a good job with their own collection by focusing or refocusing on what they really want in their collection. Okay? So you don't have to be a completionist. And if you want to be, be careful because oftentimes there might not be an end. So don't let yourself get frustrated with that. You know, I the closest thing to completionist that I have been is with the G1 Season 1 Transformers, which I don't even have a complete collection. I don't have uh, G1 Prowl and G1 uh, Blue Streak because I can't find one that's not broken, damaged, or missing chunks of parts, basically. So, you know, and, I'm, I'm, and then there are the mail-aways from that series, you know, the Omnibots and things like that, and I'm not going to get into that. So, okay, because the reason why is because I'm not interested in the Omnibots. You know, I'm not going to collect all of Season 3 of uh, Transformers or 4, what there was of them, because they don't interest me. So I'm not a completionist. But for me, my collection is complete when I decide it's complete. And that means, in this case, that I won't have everything, but I'll have everything that I want that I chose 
I'll have the, the, the toys that I like, that I will always enjoy, that I will always look at and say, hey, I like that. I'm glad I have them. And that's what you have to think about. Is it going to last long term? And that's something that a lot, or maybe even all, reviewers failed to address. Because, and it's not their fault really, you know, I've never mentioned it either. And I review toys. And, you know, bear in mind that everything is great when they're shiny and new. It's down the road that really determines your true feelings about a toy or a series of toys or a toy line. Masterpiece line has earned my love and respect. I won't buy every single figure. I won't buy every single masterpiece. I won't buy every single third party. But I will buy the ones I like. And I will organize them in the way that I like. Same thing with everything else. Chug. Animated or, or you know, movie or <laughs> etc. Same thing with Star Wars. I'm, I'm actually going to tone that one down. And I'm, 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 I'm quitting Marvel Legends. I love Marvel Legends, but I'm quitting it. And that's another thing. Maybe I'll go, if you want me to talk about why, I'll do that in a future video. It's not because it's a bad toy line. It's an amazing toy line. But I have to stop. So, because a lot of the characters I don't care for. And the Build-A-Figures, they, they can get pricey. And I'm buying characters that I don't care for just so that I can complete the Build-A-Figure. So that's a conscious decision. So that's what I mean by intent. Why am I buying this? Do I really, really like this? Do I like this 100%? And I can show you figures here that I love 100%, such as the Filmation stuff. Okay, there are ones back there. Skeletor, Evil Lynn, Beast Man. They're not going anywhere. I'm going to have that till the day I die. Okay? I might be buried with those. Same thing with the, the uh, classic slide. Masters of the Universe was my first action figure when I was a child. Not G.I. Joe or anything else. Masters of the Universe, were, were, it was, those toys were my first action figures. So I have a special love for these. And these are everything that I ever wanted out of them. The articulation, the detail, the proportions. I, this, this, is, this is like a dream come true for me. Okay, Ninja Turtles here. I like Ninja Turtles. But I, I have only a, a, a select few of them. Because I only like the, the main cast and the main villains. I made a conscious decision on that. I'm not going to buy every single figure. So that's something to think about. I just wanted to share that with you because you don't have to buy every single toy line. You don't have to get into every single release. Choose what, what makes you happy. You know, I, I never thought I'd buy so many Black Series figures, but Rogue One came out and I was like, oh man, I love that movie and I like the characters. I like them enough. Um, I have to really think about whether I like them enough to keep some of them. That's the thing I have to do with that. Star Trek stuff. I like Star Trek. There's a lot of figures in Star Trek. You'd be surprised. But I'm only buying the ones that really mean something to me. Okay. So you get the idea. I'm sure you do. And that's just something that I wanted to share with you in this first episode. And there are many more topics to come following this episode. And I hope you'll enjoy them. And I hope you'll watch them. Uh, because uh, this is something that I just want to share with you. This is, you know, it's not quite interactive since it's not live. But um, it is something that, I, something that I hope you'll you'll post in the comments. And share your ideas with if if you want me to go over a certain topic uh in in relation to this in regards to this or my thought process on some of the things that I'm planning to do please by all means if you have an idea of, of a discussion that you want me to to start off with in a future video definitely i mean i've got plenty of topics on hand but i'm more than happy to consider something that you want me to talk about and that's not replacing toy reviews uh, I do plan to do those as well. But again, this is a new series that I'm going to be consistent with. And it will also include my updates with getting my own collection organized 
and the process in which I do it in, t- in terms of my choices and, and how things basically change. So, you know, it's an ongoing series and, and we'll see how it turns out. It should be interesting, I hope. I love collecting. I love Transformers. I, th- I think I always will. Uh, I don't collect the Power of the Prime stuff with the exception of the Dinobots and uh, Beachcomber and Wind Charger. There isn't anything there that really interests me. Again, intent. Some people might love Power of the Primes. More power to you. I, I, I hope you enjoy it, but it's not for me. Do I still love Transformers? Heck yeah. Will I still buy Transformers? Of course. You've got Masterpiece. You've got lots of options. Same thing for other lines as well. So that's about it. Stay tuned for more of Shelf Space down the road. And, of course, video reviews and some other stuff I got planned. And I hope you'll enjoy that too. So I won't tell you what it is yet. And I do have one question for you. Do you want me to turn the camera around? I don't like to show my ugly mug. (laughs) Because I'm too self-conscious. I'll be honest with you. I don't like the way I look on camera. I I just like, oh my god, that's me. I'm like Jabba the Hutt on TV. I I, I just, ugh. But, you know, I've been thinking about trying different things and uh, exploring options. So maybe one day I'll do one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I really thank you guys for, for sticking with me. And I'll see you guys real soon. Be good. And until next time, later.